Oftentimes, parts vary slightly in design, which can result in slightly different geometry. The Compare Documents command is used to compare either the document properties, the features used, the geometry itself, or a bill of materials between two documents. Because the documents can be so closely compared, it helps identify areas that may cause mechanical issues based on differences in the design geometry. This is an especially great tool for comparing imported geometry to a repaired or modified version of a design. Let's take a look at how it works. Here I have two spiral bevel gears open in SolidWorks. They are nearly identical in design and shape. To determine the differences between the two, I'll use the Compare Documents commands to compare the types of features used as well as the differences in geometry. The command can be enabled from the Evaluate Command Manager or from the Tools drop-down menu under the Compare Flyout. However, the options here are broken out by comparison type. I'll simply choose Compare Documents for now, which includes the other options listed below it. First, I need to set one of the parts as the reference document, which I can choose from the drop-down, or use the Browse functionality to select a document on my machine. Then I'll select the other part type as the modified document, which will show the changes in comparison to the first reference document. Under Items to Compare, I can specify what aspects of the models should be compared. Document Properties, Features, Geometry, or Bill of Materials. In this case, I'm going to focus on features and geometry, as these two spiral bevel gears could be different in size and cause mechanical issues. First, I'll select Features, and then click on Run Comparison. With the comparison complete, I can see the results in the task pane. The left side shows the features that were flagged for the reference document, and the right side shows the features flagged for the modified document. In this case, the first component identified two features that were modified, as shown in the callout at the top, and the second component shared those same two modified features and contained a unique feature as well. First, I'll take a look at the modified features. If I click on the first one, it highlights the faces in blue in the graphics area. This is indicating that these faces are in different positions between the two patterned features. If I click on the second circular pattern feature, the teeth in the cutout at the center are highlighted. Also notice that the box at the bottom of the task pane also shows a parameter difference. The first gear has 10 teeth patterned in the cutout, while the second gear only has nine. Now we'll take a look at the unique feature. I'll click on it, and it highlights on the gear on the bottom. I'll rotate both models to see this feature a bit better, which rotate simultaneously. And I can see that the gear on the bottom has an additional circular slot cut out of it. Not only can differences be applied at the feature level, specific geometry can also be identified that's different between the two gear designs. To compare the geometry, I'll click on the back arrow at the top of the task pane and switch the checkbox from Features to Geometry. Notice that another checkbox appears, Align Parts. This setting is used to make sure that the components are aligned in space. This compares the two shapes relative to one another, rather than comparing geometry spread out in space in a document. I'll check the box and use the Global Coordinate System as the reference point for both components to align them and run the comparison. With the results calculated, the task pane updates with two comparison options, volume comparison and face comparison. I'll start with the volume comparison results. Notice that there are a few different categories of volumes that are being compared. There are volumes that would need to be removed in order for the components to match, which I can enable by clicking on the icon next to the category, which highlights 10 volumes shown in blue, primarily the teeth being different size, as well as the number of teeth included in the cutout at the center. There's also material that would need to be added in order for the components to match, which highlights 44 volumes shown in brown. And finally, there's one common volume shown between the two components, by selecting these different options, I'm able to identify which areas might be problematic and cause interferences if the part is used within a mechanical system. In this case, the gears may not mesh properly if one is oversized or undersized.
Alternatively, I can show a face comparison, which includes which faces are unchanged, which ones are unique, and which ones have been modified. The number of faces in each category is listed next to it, which corresponds with the colors shown in the graphics area as I switch between them. This is a more specific way of showing every detailed change across the part, since it's categorized by changes to faces. Lastly, if you want to keep the colors showing on screen, you can enable Keep Colors on Close and then exit out of the Compare tool in the task pane. This allows you to continue reviewing the differences in the design without having the command open. This is useful for design review meetings or being able to maximize the screen to see detailed differences.